What's up guys, Jesse Jardine with Thrash Lifting. So today uh, I'm going to start talking about my favorite albums. I do uh, 10 at a time, no particular order. Just albums I really like to listen to at the gym. Because uh, I have my trifecta pre-workout. So it's uh, coffee, weed, and good tunes. And I find that combo is just enough to always fucking make me want to lift even if I feel like shit. So let's fucking get started without further ado. So I'm just gonna go down my little list here and uh, step over so I can get the album covers in. So I guess we'll start with what's on my shirt, which is Violence. Right here. So this is fucking wicked fucking thrash album. Uh, I'm not even gonna name years. I, don't know. I think it's like 88, maybe 86. 86 maybe, don't judge me. Really fucking sick album. Uh, I guarantee you're gonna hate the vocals right off the bat. You're gonna hate the shit out of the vocals, and you might not be able to get into this band for a very long time. It took me at least a couple months to get into this album. Interesting fact: it has Rob Flynn from Machine Head fame, and uh, I think the drummer and guitar player left. They were all in there and like went to Machine Head. Like the bass player and the vocalist were the only people with enough sense not to go or something. But yeah, fuck Machine Head. If you like that shit, I feel sorry for you. Like, I'm sorry. That shit fucking sucks. Fuck it sucks. But yeah, Violence, Eternal Nightmare, Wicked. Some of the best fucking thrash riffs I've ever heard. Wicked fucking solos, like fucking two minute, like crazy, real good solos that don't get boring. And lots of pretty cool part changes with the vocals and shit. <laughs> Eventually you'll grow to like the fucking vocals, I think. Calling in the corner and shit. Yeah, it hits off. Hits off first album, opening track, Serial Killer, and probably uh, fucking Calling in the Corner and uh, Phobophobia are really sweet. Lots of really cool riffs in those. So yeah, check out Violence, Eternal Nightmare. Real good. Check it out. So, next album we got is Nocturnus, The Key. So this is a pretty fucking cool album. It's like, uh, I think they were like the first band to use, or the first death metal band to use keyboards in their songs, I guess, and usually I fucking hate keyboards, that's usually make or break, apart from in like typo negative, but yeah. Keyboards are pretty cool here actually, I really like the atmosphere that they create. It's like really, uh, it's like Morbid Angel in space. I can always imagine like fucking Star Wars within fucking Star Trek battles and shit. You, more Star Wars, because like, Star Wars is way better than Star Trek, everyone knows that. Right? Everyone? Right? But yeah, Nocturnus, fucking the key, Wicked album. Fun fact, the drummer and vocalist on the first album was the drummer on the Morbid Angel EPs. So you can definitely tell there's a lot of Morbid Angel influence in there. And uh, currently, they are, I think they're playing Maryland Death Fest this year as Nocturnus AD because after the first album, I don't know the exact story, but after the first album they like kicked out the drummer vocalist and got a new drummer and I think one of the guitar players took over vocals or something or they got a new vocalist and then a bunch of shit happened, they, I think they had like two more albums and then fucking something happened, they all dissolved and then the fucking old drummer got the band back together with a couple of the members but due to copyright fucking issues they couldn't call it Nocturnus so it's Nocturnus AD like there's like a thing where like they can't even tell people they're gonna play Nocturnus songs at the shows, but they obviously do play Nocturnus songs, and apparently they play old school Morbid Angel songs too. So, best songs on this album are Neolithic has a really cool fucking uh, keyboard part in the middle of it with some vocals, Droid Sector, and Destroying the Manger or Manger I guess. Manger is a thing, right? I don't fucking know. Anyways, next is Nile, Annihilation of the Wicked. So, uh, Nile has lots of really good albums. I know a lot of people prefer like the earlier, like more straightforward, like death metal albums. But I really like when they start to experiment more with crazy fucking like Morbid Angel esque like intros and like weird like fucking Egyptian instruments and shit like that. This is the best Nile has ever been and ever will be, in my opinion. This fucking album is the shit. Fucking right off the bat, sacrifice unto Sebek. Fucking crazy as fuck. Uh, Lash to the slave stick. 
fucking crazy as fuck. Just front to back, good as fuck. <laughs> like with Nile, I've always thought of them more as like a King Diamond kind of band, you know? They always have like more like concept album kind of things. And like I said, just being songs, it's like a experience. And some of the wick, most fucking wicked solos ever. Fun fact about Nile, apparently they write the lyrics first and then fucking build the song around the lyrics. Nile has some fucking really cool lyrics and fucking uh, vocal delivery parts, so definitely check out that album at the gym. Next we got... <laughs> Dim Mac. Here, I'll just fucking put this here for a second. Yeah. Dan to the Dragon. This is really rare. The only way that I got this is because I have the guitar player Sean Kelly on Facebook, and he mentioned that they were that this was on eBay. I think I paid like 30 for it, which is, it's like impossible to get. It hasn't been in print for a while. Wicked album. Another one of those albums where the vocals take a bit to get used to, but Dim Mac has a lot of Wicked albums, but this album really stands out for me. Uh, a lot of people will not like the hardcore-ish vocals, but I really like them after a while. Repeats lots of positive, strong messages, and sometimes negative, but strong messages. Uh, a lot of Bruce Lee influence, obviously, and lots of Asian influence. It, it kind of reminds me of like Wu Tang Clan almost, with like the Asian influence, but like no like samples like that. I think that would have been kind of cool on this album, but what are you gonna do? This fucking album is wicked as fuck. I cannot overstate that. The only song I'd skip is I'm Sorry, and probably skip the first song, but. Lots of real cool fucking positive messages in this shit. Uh, it's one of my favorite gym albums ever. It's the shit. Next album's the shit. Uh, some wicked crazy drumming on the first two albums. Like, I've never really heard like groove drumming like that again. Brandon Thomas fucking lays it down. Fun fact about Dim Mac is they used to, before this album they were a band called Ripping Corpse and they had Eric Rutten of Hate Eternal fame and Morbid Angel fame. And now he records Cannibal Corpse so he's pretty He's pretty famous in like the death metal world, if that is fame, but it's fame to me. But him and Sean Kelly were guitar players in Ripping Corpse. Ripping Corpse has some pretty cool stuff too. I don't like it as much as Dim Mac, but pretty sweet. And after that album, Eric Rudin went to Morbid Angel for Domination and then left I'd Leave too for, uh, yeah, I would have left after Domination. Didn't look like they were coming back, but anyways, off topic. So next album is devourment molesting the decapitated so uh, this is like one of my favorite really heavy set fucking songs like when it's time for like a really grind out like fucking deadlift or some really heavy benching or something like that this fucking album gets it done for me pretty much uh, the best slam album ever one of the most grotesque fucking album covers but pretty much back to front heavy as fuck really groovy a lot of people are going to hate the vocals on this too, but one thing you guys got to learn is you got to look past vocals, man. I love crazy vocals because, like, I hate all these old school thrash bands. A lot of them, you confuse the vocals sometimes just because it's, like, so generic. So I like stuff like fucking Violence and fucking Dim Mac and shit like that where they fucking have a different vocal style. So, you know, you know what it is right away. Off tangent, though, Devourment's fucking real crazy. Their newer stuff isn't as good. But first three albums, real good. Unleash the Carnivore has fucking... I usually put on Fed to the Pigs off that album every workout. That song's wicked. The rest of the album, nah. So uh, I was going to do ten, but it seems like this has gone on long enough. Uh, yeah, so there's five albums. I'll be back with five in maybe a week or more or whenever. So uh, this has been... Jesse Jardine with Thrash Lifting, and I like to listen to metal. I'm also going to do a rap version of this and a more chill version one day. So, 